This short movie explains what the main principles of taxation are and how the government implements such concepts. Now, the government needs to collect revenues in order to finance its expenditures, such as providing education, transportation, health care, and so on. The major source of financing government expenditures is through taxation. In other words, individuals are obliged to pay a portion of their income to the government. Take for instance Urtan, a math professor at the University of Vukovic. He earns 6,000 euros per month, and from that amount, he spends 100 euros per month in clothes. But now, he has to pay taxes, which means a portion of his income will go to the government. Now, given that Urtan has less money in his pocket, he will decide to spend only 50 euros per month in clothes. That is, the government, through taxation, can distort Urtan's choice to buy clothes. But now, the government needs to decide what portion of Urtan's income to take so that it can finance its expenditures. And this is done for two major approaches the benefit principle and the ability to pay principle. Let's assume Xim goes to work every day with his car, whereas his friend Linda uses the public transportation. Xim will demand from the government to repair and maintain roads so that he can drive to work. The government will respond to Xim's request by building and repairing roads or highways. But in order to do that, it will have to put higher taxes on gasoline. That is, Xim will enjoy the benefits of better roads, but at the same time, he will pay taxes in order to finance the cost of government to provide better roads. In contrast, the ability to pay approach focuses on the capacity of citizens to earn income. Related to the ability to pay principal, we can distinguish between horizontal and vertical equity. The horizontal equity is achieved when individuals with the same income pay the same amount of taxes. For example, Tringa and Ben, both doctors, earn 50,000 euros per year, and they both pay 18% of their income in taxes. However, Tringa is single, she has 100,000 euros in bank, and she lives in a house that she inherited from her grandfather. Ben, on the other hand, is a father of three children, rents an apartment for 200 euros per month, and has no money on his bank account. Are these two people really equal in the sense that they have the same economic capacity to pay taxes? Vertical equity, on the other hand, explains how individuals with different economic capacity pay different amount in taxes. So, let's compare Marigona, a working mother who works for six hours per hour and support two children with a millionaire like Bejet Pazzole. According to this approach, Bejet Pazzole, who earns more money, needs to pay higher taxes. The government, through taxes, aims to redistribute wealth in the society in a more fair way, which implies that poor people get more happiness out of the money than the rich do. But we should consider that the marginal benefit of an euro is not the same for two individuals who have different earnings. That is, one euro might be worth a whole lot to Marigona, who has little income and little wealth and works in a factory for 6 euros an hour and supports two children. The same 1 euro might be worth much less to a millionaire like Behjet Pazzole, who has a lot of income and wealth. To sum up, taxes that are implemented by the government in order to finance its expenditures must follow some criteria, such as equity, which explains the ability to pay, and efficiency, that explains the loss of efficiency in the private sector. In other words, individuals will have to sacrifice the consumption of some private goods and services after the government raises its revenues in order to finance their activities. Free
created using Paltoon.